Veterans across the country and in the fort are very closely watching the events unfold. Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Corinne Rose talked with one of those veterans in the fort today. She joins us in the studio live with that part of our team coverage. Corinne? This afternoon, I spoke with a retired Army major who spent a year in Afghanistan working with the government there to help leaders help their people. She was one of six women in a 90-person unit helping the Afghan government create better infrastructure, agriculture, and medical care, especially midwife care for women. But seeing video from Afghanistan now makes her think immediately about those women and girls she worked so hard to help. She also thinks about the widows she worked with. She and a delegation of beekeepers from the U.S. Department of Agriculture taught them some self-sufficiency in beekeeping. But she fears that's all lost under the new Taliban regime. There were a lot of government folks that um, they were aiming for the right thing to do for their people. Because above all, they're humble and they want to do best for the people. She says those governmental relationships she was helping to build came at a high price. In two incidents, two men under her command were killed and three others severely injured in roadside bomb attacks. She does think that it's possible in time that the U.S. will have to send troops back to Afghanistan, but the major tells us it will be up to the politicians to ultimately broker peace in Afghanistan, not any military involvement. Linda.